What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno, and I want to talk to y'all today about mind control, but not how y'all might be thinking. I know what y'all thinking. I, I'm not talking about um, MK Ultra, at least not this time. I'm not talking about any other type of um, high-tech mind control tactics. I'm talking about regular, everyday people who try to manipulate your thoughts based on their own insecurities and based on their own motives to keep you in a place that's comfortable for them. What do I mean by that? Sometimes, man, we will come out and stand on something that, that we believe in and that we rock with, a truth that we, that we uh, know and believe in our hearts to be the truth. Or even if it's just an opinion and somebody will come out and speak about how um, offensive it is to them or how disrespectful it is to them. And I can't control that. Okay, cool. If, if something is offensive to you, then that's something that, hey, man, I can't go into your mind like you're trying to do me. And... And change that. I, I got to stand on what I believe and then we can hash it out however we talk about it and um, move forward from there. But you have people that would look and see a direction that you are going in and they'll know that that direction represents growth. And if they know you to be um, a um, caring person, they know you to be a, uh, a person who actually gives a crap about what people think and along those lines, then they'll try to say something to make you sway your thought process. Well man, I just I didn't I didn't I didn't think that that was cool. That was offensive to me and my feelings were hurt and then and then if you one of those people that go, Oh man, I I, I didn't know man, I, I you know and you can feel like that but when you feel like that, it needs to be followed up with, oh, man, I, I, I didn't know. However, that's how I feel, man. And, you know, I got I to gotta stand on how I feel. I'm, you know, if I offended you, that was not my intention. But people will try to get in your ear to make you sway or, or go away from what it is that, that you stand on. And now the, the onus becomes on you to prove if you really stand on it. Because if I if I stand on something, you're not gonna knock me up off of it. I'm sorry. You know, especially when I know my own intentions, when I know that I didn't uh, put a post on online uh, with the intentions of trying to offend somebody. I didn't come out in a speech or even on a record and say something that it, that was my intention was to offend somebody. I, I just stood on what I stand on. And because you feel uncomfortable by it, you want to switch the narrative up to make it like, well, this guy's this. So, and, and people crack under that pressure all the time. People crack under that pressure all the time. They will start getting called those names, uh, those, those, um, traditional, typical names that get thrown out at people when they stand on truth and they'll crumble under that pressure like, uh-oh, I don't need everybody saying that I'm this. Knowing that you're not that. You knowing that you're not that. You just don't want to um, succumb. You don't want to fall under the weight of that. And you, you may not have the, the heart or the intestinal fortitude to clap back and defend what you put out. And that's something that got, got to change. But it's one thing if a person just is at odds with what you said for their own reasons. But again, you have people who they're intentionally trying to knock you off that. They, they may see you going in a direction that represents growth. And in that envy and that hate that they might have, they will try to flip that on you to make you fall back. Don't fall for that.
That's a form of mind control. So many people will tell you that an idea that you got is not going to work. So many people will tell you that a plan that you are uh, gonna that you intend on implementing is, is not going to work. You know, and all it takes for some people, not everybody, but I would venture to say for a vast majority of people, you know, all it takes is somebody to plant that one little seed of doubt. And that'll just make you go, oh, well, you know what? Maybe you're right. It's like when Eddie Murphy talked about the, the Jedi mind trick. You're letting people play Jedi mind tricks on you. And as a result, you become weaker in your character. And as a further result, um, your accomplishments become minimal. Your accomplishments are reduced because you've allowed some whispering to get to you. Or, like I say, man, look, or some trolling. You've allowed some trolls to, to run you off the block. And this message is really just to, to try to give strength and, and, and empowerment to people who have went through that, people who are currently, maybe currently going through that, and if you've never been through it, whenever you encounter it in the future, that you'll know, you know, whether they are intending to do that or not. Hey, man, if this is your mission, if this is your purpose, and even if it ain't that big, even if it's not a mission or a purpose, even if it's just um, a statement of how I felt at the time, I'm going to rock it to the wheels fall off. Plain and simple. You're not going to let you do that to me. So keep that in mind when you move forward. Mind control ain't always about just some high-level government stuff. We'll, we'll get into some of that, of course. We'll get into some of that, you know, as it goes on. But people will manipulate you to try to make you do what they want you to do. People, you got relationships that get down like that. You know, somebody to tell you to put your dream on hold so they can chase theirs and milk all of the, the resources, you know, that could, man, it's, it's so many layers to this, man. So keep that in mind as you move forward, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno, and I'll catch y'all a little bit later on, man. Peace.